Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. We are here at New York Comic Con 2022. We are so excited we have our badge. You see the signs right behind us. So we're right in front of the Javits Center, right before security before we go in day one. We're here for all four days, our first time at New York Comic Con. So it we, be fun. we are absolutely pumped. We have a packed day today. Oh yeah. All, we have a couple panels to go to, some walk around the show floor, lots of stuff all weekend long. So make sure you guys, if you are not already, subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications, so that way you can stay tuned with all the cool stuff we have going on this weekend. But let's head inside and get this con started. Heading inside the convention center. First time in here, this is really nice. It's here, so it looks like over there they have autographs and photo ops. We'll be heading there on Friday and Saturday. That way to the show floor, and then they have the official NYCC show store and gaming upstairs as well. So we're gonna try to find our way around, look at the map, and see where we're headed. Uh, it looks like they do have some program guides. So first, we gotta grab those. We grabbed a program guide for New York Comic Con. Pretty cool cover here with some different Halloween stuff. World by Night. See on there, Hellraiser, Halloween ends. Some pretty cool stuff. And it looks like they have your guide to New York Comic Con. So we're gonna have to read through this and see what they have to share. Okay, so it looks like the map. That will be useful for us to look at the schedule. We can also use the app, of course, on our phone, but this is a nice little thing to have. Oh, and the Artist Alley, that's gonna be really, really useful because there are a few comic artists that I definitely wanna make sure I see. And we came upstairs and we are walking on to the show floor. And this is absolutely massive. Wow. I don't know where we're gonna start. We've been walking for a little bit now, just walking through just a few minutes and Again, there's just so much stuff. I don't know how we're gonna get to all of it. A lot of exhibitors back there. We walk past like Studio Ghibli and some other really cool things. But I do see right over here, you can see in the background, there is the Funko booth. Now we don't have a reservation until Saturday. Uh, so we'll be going there on another day, but it's still cool to walk by and actually see it in person. And now we came across one of our favorite stores that we saw at Star Wars Celebration, Heroes and Villains. They have a lot of really cool pop culture merch. Uh, I know a lot of Marvel, Star Wars stuff they do. They do some pretty cool stuff like some bags and really cool Star Wars bags. This is actually the wallet uh, the set that Michaela picked up during Star Wars Celebration. She absolutely loves that. But I did see online they do have a new Black Panther Wakanda Forever set. Looks pretty sick. After walking around a little bit on the show floor, kind of getting our bearings, uh, we did come over here into that main area where you can kind of go to the exit or to the main stage. We saw something really, really cool right here. This is the DeLorean that it looks like they'll be using in Back to the Future, the musical hitting Broadway in 2023. That's something if we come back, I think we might gotta see. Back to the Future, probably our favorite movie. Back to the Future 2 for Michaela, but this is pretty awesome. And now we're on the other side here. And so here's another look at the Funko booth from the outside. They did a really good job. Look at that Vampire Freddy up there. That's really cool. And then right next to it, they do have the Lounge Fly store as well that you can go into. It looks like they have a separate line, but they're both in the same building. Pretty cool. Now we came up to the fourth floor to try to figure out, you know, where we're going because later today we have two different panels that are gonna be up here on the fourth floor in room 405. Now we see people waiting right here for room 401. That is McFarland Toys panel, I believe. That should be starting soon. So we're not going to that panel because we do have Big City Greens at 1.30 and then Solar Opposites later tonight, I believe six o'clock. So super, super excited for those panels, but we're just kind of figuring out where we are. Right now, we're just kind of walking around, figuring out where we're going because our first time here at the Javits Center, don't really know where things are. It actually took us a little bit to find out how to get up to this fourth floor to where these rooms are gonna be. But luckily, based on these queues, it doesn't look like there's anything too terrible compared to like some of the other conventions that we have been to. So it seems, seems like it's gonna be a good weekend. We got most of the reservations, so there's only a couple things that we have to go to that we can't uh, have reservations for. They have just waited in line. And up here on the fourth floor, one of the things we just came across, I just saw this. 
this crate and it says Funko Fright Night 2. Fun Lab Funko. This might be Funko stuff. Since I wasn't able to get Fright Night tickets, I might have to figure out what's in here. Maybe I'll take this as hostage for them to No, But yeah, it says Funko on the side. Yeah, this is definitely stuff for Fright Night. Pretty cool to see. We had a little bit of time before our next panel. So we came down and we ran into the New York Comic Con official store where they have a lot of pretty cool merch. New York Comic Con, I have my eye on one thing. That's that New York Comic Con New Neck sweatshirt. But I haven't been able to see a lot of the new stuff they have. So I'm excited to check it out up close. Here at the Seven Bucks of Pop booth, they're having a ton of their signature autographs all throughout, including a lot of anime voice actors. And one of them right here is uh, Bryce Pepperbrook from Demon Slayer, some Deadly Sins, a lot of other things. It's really cool, and they are selling some different pop, getting them signed. A pretty cool thing that you can come here, get a pop, and get it signed. I think it's 105, which is not terrible. And over here on the other side of the Seven Bucks of Pop booth, they have a ton of their signature series pops that they've released in the past. They do one pretty much every week. What's also cool is that they have Mystery Grail here as well. So of course, every week, Mystery Grail drops a ton of boxes. They're doing a 6,000 box run. So you can buy a $15 mystery box, you get a pop, and you could get a potential Grail. Most likely we'll get just a common and stuff, but hey, it's still, it's a good chance and you don't have to pay for the $6 shipping, so it might be cool to pick one up. And now we are back upstairs on the fourth floor after exploring a little bit more of the show floor. Seriously, there's just so much there. It's way bigger than it probably sees on camera. But now we are uh, queuing up about 30 minutes away from the Big City Greens panel. Big City Greens is a show on uh, Disney Channel and on Disney Plus. It's actually really cool. So I, I enjoy the show. So we thought, hey, we would check this one out because it should be a pretty fun. It is a funny show. So let's go ahead and check out this panel. And uh, it doesn't look like it's a huge room, so hopefully we can get in, but it doesn't look like there's a huge line. Robinson. 
Now go on, Tilly, just let it go. Well, okay. Tilly opens the door and starts singing an epic power ballad that is sure to resonate with all children and become a smash hit. Remember, this was like 2015, something like that? Uh, vegetables violently shoot out from Tilly's fingers in all directions. Come on, Tilly, stop letting it go! The vegetables blast cricket and straw up over the edge of a balcony. Tilly steps in, taking the horrific destruction. What have I done? Yeah, the executives uh, hated that one. Uh, <laughs> probably because four of the five main characters die within the first act. But, uh, <laughs> that panel was really awesome. That was so, so cool. It's instantly become one of our favorite uh, Disney Channel shows for sure after that. But yeah, I got a little uh, got a little crown that's uh, Cricket's head, Cricket's hair, which is pretty funny. But we got some other things that we got to take home. So I know in my pocket here, first off, we got these buttons from Big City Greens that they let us take, pretty cool. And even cooler, they're only limited to 100. A signed Big City Greens poster from the entire cast and creators, that is, Amazing. So that fun. Amazing. Yeah. And those creators are just geniuses in like the, the kid world of the Disney Channel. So it was really, really cool. I'm glad we got in there because it was one at first we were like, oh, we like this show. We weren't sure if we were going to go. I'm so happy we went because it was definitely an awesome way to kick off, you know, a New York Comic Con for us. Now, after the Big City Creens panel. Time for us to come down because we have reservations for the Velma panel and they gave us these awesome looking glasses. They're just paper, but they're fun. So it's about, what, 30 minutes until that panel starts, but we have reservations, so we're gonna get in. We're excited to see new Scooby-Doo stuff. This is gonna be a new adult animated series going to HBO Max, which should be actually pretty cool, I would think. Mindy Kaling behind it, so she should be here as well. Cheers. Yeah, it's gonna be very exciting. That Velma panel was actually really cool. It was surprised because they actually showed the entire first episode of the series. I was not expecting that at all, but it looks really good. Mindy Kaling, Constance Wu, Sam Richardson, Glenn Howardson, uh, really, really good cast. So it's actually gonna be really good. They said it's gonna be dropping in 2023. They even showed us another teaser, which I'm sure is gonna drop online if it hasn't already at this point, uh, but definitely a cool show to look forward to. But now, we are heading back upstairs. We're back on the fourth floor because the Solar Opposites panel, this is the one we've been looking forward to all day. One of our favorite shows on TV right now is in just about 30 or 40 minutes. So we're gonna be coming up here waiting for that because we wanna try to see if we can be as close to the front as possible for this panel. We absolutely love this show and these characters. So we're super stoked about it. And now we just got out of the Solar Opposites panel, which that was awesome. We love Solar Opposites, one of our favorite shows on TV right now. They showed a little clip of the Halloween special that we already watched, but they gave us some nice little surprises that they got renewed for season five already. They're uh, doing season four next year. So it's a little like animatic of season four. Very, very cool. We're super excited about that. And they're doing more uh, holiday specials as well. So super cool that we're going to keep getting Solar Opposites stuff. And right before that, they showed more of like some other stuff that Justin Rowland's doing, like uh, some of the Polonies, Polonies Halloween special. It's gonna be coming to Hulu later this month as well. So Justin Rowland was all over the place, but he wasn't there because apparently he's sick, so he couldn't be here, unfortunately. But we were still able to see a lot of really cool stuff that's coming from him. So we're excited. But you know, we are at the end of our day here at uh, New York Comic Con day one. So we're just walking through the show floor, seeing maybe we can go to the Funko booth or, or something see if we can check out anything else before we call it a day. So luckily we were able to come over and come inside the Loungefly side. They did close the Funko side of the booth, but Loungefly is open here. And they have a lot of their exclusives. Pretty cool ones. I like that Boba Fett one. They have their Rex. It's pretty cool. They got a couple of stick bags over there as well. And if you want to see the other side of this booth where Funko is, there it is. I like the skeletons on top. It actually looks really, really cool. And they have a Funko sign up there too. They have a portrait of uh, Freddy over there as well. So this is the Frightmare on Fun Street area. And it looks like uh, they have a couple things behind there. It looks like they have one of the three liter sodas. I think that's the five-headed dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh, I would think. 
So they still have some exclusives sitting out, but probably a lot has sold out. And right near the Funko booth, they actually have the eBay booth here. And eBay is getting big into Funko and collectibles. Of course, they made a huge investment in Funko. And they have, I'll show it back. They have this pretty cool uh, eBay player pop. And oh, Miguel just pointed out right here, showing that they had the sign up that says out of Funko today, come back tomorrow. So I guess they were selling some pops today, maybe some exclusive eBay pops. So that is the conclusion of day one here at New York and Comic-Con. I felt like we did a ton of stuff. What was your right. favorite thing you did today? Big City Greens panel, that yeah. was the best. Seeing like the entire cast was amazing. The energy in that room I think was insane. It was like so much higher than anything else we did today. They were definitely prepared for their panel because there's a lot of panels you'll go to that the moderator will have questions but will run out. In this one, in the Big City Greens one, they had their questions. They did some mock um, scripts for the table read and they asked questions in the audience. So they took up their entire time. Yeah, I definitely have to say Big City Greens is my favorite as well. They were just so well done. And yeah, we went to a few panels today. Velma not, was awesome. Yeah, so. Velma was definitely a really big surprise for me. I was not knowing what to expect from that. I just knew it was probably going to be good because of Mindy Kaling, because we're big Mindy Kaling fans. But then to see the first episode of the show that's coming out next year was that. kind of insane to me. And they did end up dropping the teaser online, so you guys can watch that uh, online right now for Velma. So, so a lot of really cool stuff. I was excited to see Solar Opposites was renewed for season five and four. So that's awesome to see. Uh, but now just being here on the show floor, actually getting to learn what this building is, I think was very helpful today. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna definitely have some time to explore some more, uh, walk more around the show floor. We really just have like one panel tomorrow. And then we have, uh, I know I, we have an autograph session that's really exciting. And then just walk around the show floor. So we should do a lot more exploring tomorrow and bring you guys along for the ride for that. But thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys did enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like in this video as well if you enjoyed it. You can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos. You want to make sure you stay tuned throughout the weekend because we'll have videos coming every day for New York Comic Con. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.